it's Elizabeth from Elizabeth Books and I'm here today to do the perfume and body spray tag. So let's just get into it. So my favorite perfume is probably the pink sugar perfume. This one I got this much left, but I love it so much. Okay, I have two full backups of it. That's how good it is. It smells like cotton candy. It's so good. And Sephora for a while like stopped selling it. I was so upset and my parents found me one of them at like a Perfumania, I think that's what it's called, store. And then I was able to find it again at Sephora, so it was all good. My second favorite is probably Juicy Couture. Sorry, I'm like grabbing the right here. I have the little spray tube of it, the Viva La Juicy. I love that one. I also have um, Viva La Juicy Fleur. La Fleur? La Fleur? The Flower? Is that what it means? I don't know. And I have um, Juicy Couture, I'm not sure what this one's called, Couture La La Juicy Couture. So my favorite of the Juicy Couture ones is probably just Viva La Juicy. Mm, it's just like florally but kind of musky. And then the Viva La Fleur, Viva La Juicy La Fleur, it's more floral but you know, I like the other one better. And this one I don't really like. It's kind of like too musky for me, but I'm a sucker for like packaging and it's so cute. Like I couldn't help it. So some other perfumes I have. I have Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I love this perfume. I was flipping through a like fashion magazine and it was on, when I was flipping, I was like, oh my gosh, what's that smell? And it was the insert in the magazine. I was just like, oh, I need this perfume. It smells so good. I love it. It's like, it smells like daisies, it's floral, 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 I know what I mean. Okay, then I have, from Victoria's Secret, I have Victoria's Secret Bombshell Forever, I'm almost out of it. Mm, it smells so good, it just smells like the Victoria's Secret store, if you know what that smells like. Fruity, and I also have, oh, I also have from Victoria's Secret, I have Sunkissed, and that's like a, body mist. It smells very cotton candy warm. Oh wait, no. It's coconutty, not cotton candy. Coconut. It smells like coconut. And warm and cozy. This one smells cotton candy. Like cotton candy. Then I have um, Dolce & Gabbana The One. I love this packaging. I think it's so pretty. And again, this was one I was flipping through a magazine and it was the little like perfume insert. And I just thought it smelled so good. It's like, I think it's my more like grown up smell, but I love it. I love it. It's so nice. Then I have Four by Ralph Lauren. And growing up, they used to make, do you remember like the bottles? They like kind of look like little mushrooms. And there was like a purple, a uh, red, um, I think yellow, pink, I'm not sure. But growing up, I had the red one and I think it was called Wild. And I loved it. It smelled so good. And they stopped making it. And I was so upset. It was like my signature smell in like 7th grade. And I went to Sephora like 2 years ago. And I was just sniffing the bottles. And I was like, oh my gosh. This smells. This is wild or hot or whatever it was. But it's just called 4 now and in a different packaging. But it smells so good. So I have this little baby and I'm almost done. But I have a backup, a bigger one in a nice big box. So I can run out of it. Then I have uh, Vineyard Peach Body Mist by The Body Shop. It smells so good. It smells just like peach snapple. I love it. And from Bath and Body Works, I have Twisted Peppermint. And I got it two Christmases ago, but I mean, I haven't used very much because it's really I can only wear it in December. And I also have Vanilla Bean Noel, which smells so good. It's just like a cotton candy vanilla and I just favor it over the peppermint one so I've used it a lot more. Okay, I'm dwindling down to my last ones. I have this Coach perfume and I'm not a really big fan of it. It smells okay. I basically got it because I love the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging so I need to smell things before I buy them. And oh, also by Juicy Couture. I have this little like perfume and lip gloss duo and I love the lip gloss like it tastes like 
it's like a strawberry shortcake. I love it. And my skin's really sensitive, so I can't like wear rollerblades. So, I have the rollerblade on this side, but I don't actually use it, which is a bummer. I wish it was like a spray, like the other ones, because then I would use it. But I guess I'll use the lip gloss and then be like, hey, who wants a little rollerblade of perfume? It's nice, I swear. Okay, dwindling down, I have um, this one by Aeropostale. Don't really know what it's called. Haley? I think it's called Haley. And it's just in this little pretty bottle. It's not the best. It smells okay, but again, I was suckered in, and in the store, it just smells so good. You can't really tell until you get it home, and you're like, oh, it doesn't really smell like it did in the store. And finally, I have um, Flora Bonica? Flora Bonica? I don't even know. I'm sorry. But, um, I don't even know. Balenciaga? I'm butchering this name. It's right here. But it's also not a spray, it's just a little, you see, it's just like a top. But I think it smells really good. I don't know how, I'm not going to throw it away because it smells good, but I can't really wear it. So I just need to get in like the, the spritzer version. And finally, I have Fantasy. Fantasy by Britney Spears. It's just a little tiny one. And this one, I think it smells good. It's kind of like cotton candy. But... It's not like anything special. So yeah, that was my perfume and body spray collection. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.